hello guys in this video i will talk about a string uh, buffer in java right so why uh, a string buffer is required though we have a string class so what happens is a string buffer is mutable string the mutable string means we can modify the data of a string buffer whereas we cannot modify the data of a string class right so in java we have a different class called a string buffer where we can modify the data of a string once it is created that is the difference between a string buffer and a string class now if you try to see here we have a package called a string buffer in java and we have a class called example one then we have a main method in the main method i am creating one string object by using a string literal and when i say s1 dot concat this original string will not change because a string is a immutable whereas when we create the object of a string buffer right and uh, when we create the object of a string buffer we are using abc abc as an argument to the object because we are getting the object of parameterized constructor of a string buffer and a string buffer has a method called append method so when we say sb dot append test and when you print the output it becomes abc test whereas here the concatenations will not change your original string let me show you uh, with the example now uh, let me launch my eclipse so that i can discuss uh, further in the same string buffer so what happens if you look at here your outcome is test one for this a string your outcome is test one after concatenation a string did not change whereas the string buffer when we say sb dot append method test it becomes abc test right which means your data will change it becomes abc test so a string buffer is a mutable when we look at the constructor of a string buffer uh, we have three constructor of a string buffer class one a string buffer which has no argument it creates an empty string buffer with uh, with a initial capacity of size 16 a string buffer which will take a string as an argument it will create a string buffer with a specified string and a string buffer with int capacity it will create an empty string buffer with a specified capacity as length right so these are the three constructor by using which we can create the object of a string buffer now let me uh, let me go to the eclipse and here what i will do is i'll create one uh, package first i will create one project called a string buffer uh, in the project i am going to create one package so do a right click new and package so we'll keep the same package a string buffer once we have a package we'll create one class here and we'll give the name is is equal to example one now uh, i will write a main method main control space bar right and then click on enter so still it is loading let it load and then click, click on enter so when you have a main method right now we can write here a string s1 is equal to test so we are creating a string object by using a string literal and when i say s1 dot concat so and in this concat when i write let's say 56 test okay and then we will print the given string right after that we will make the object of a string buffer so i'll write sb is equal to new a string bu control space bar so we are going to make the object of a string buffer this guy we are going to make the object of this guy string buffer and here i will write uh, argument as a test right and just place mouse over here click on create local variable it will create a local variable called a string buffer 
right keep this as small so once we have that we'll write sb dot it has a method called append method which will add the string at the end of the string so you write same thing 56 test and then we'll write one print statement then write here sb so when we run this program what happens your string data will not change because a string is a immutable whereas your string buffer data will change because it's a immutable so by using append method we can append the string now come back to the notes so we have few methods of a string buffer we have synchronized a string buffer right uh, the method name is a delete method which is synchronized so when we say synchronized which means it is the thread shape the thread shape meaning is when multiple thread when multiple thread will try to access the resource data corruption will not happen right description it is used to delete the string from the specified start index and the end index so whatever index will supply your string will get deleted then you have reverse so reverse the name itself indicates that it will reverse the string right and this is again synchronized method right it is synchronized thread shape then you have append method which will append the string right it is again a synchronized thread shape so mostly your string buffer methods are thread shape then we have insert method again synchronized thread shape means when the multiple thread will act on this it will not uh, data corruptions will not happen it will take two argument int offset a string s it is used to insert the specified string with this string at a specified position the insert method is overloaded like insert int cal insert int boolean insert int int insert int float insert int double so it's a overloaded method you have a lot of insert method similarly you have a replace method which is again synchronized right and uh, it has three argument a start index end index and the string which you want to replace right then we have capacity which will give you the current capacity of your string buffer then we have something called ensure capacity it is used to ensure the capacity at least equal to a given minimum so ensure capacity uh, basically uh, in a string buffer you can increase the capacity or you can keep the same capacity what uh, a string buffer has the data but you cannot decrease by using ensure capacity character act it will give you the character at a specified position return type character length uh, return type integer it will give you the uh, the length of the string then substring substring uh, again it will give you the a specified string uh, from a given string based on the begin index then again substring it's a overloaded method here you have a start and end so Let's say you have a big string and you want to data between the range you can go for the second substring overloaded method now we will try to understand each method and we will also see how does it different from the string class so append method as i said append method will append the string with the different string so when we say java test your output will be java test because after java you have a space and then we are calling a spend, uh, append method it will append our java test right so what what we are trying to do here is let's say we are going to make again the object of a string buffer so new a string bu double f control space bar a string buffer here we are going to use this uh, constructor and here i will write let's say test and a space keep a space right now just place mouse over here and click on create local variable so when you do that and in this sb1 when you say sb1 dot append and when you write here let's say 789 right i mean 8899 and uh, when you print this data sb1 so when we print that data see you can see here after test there is a space so whatever data you have you know it will get appended that's how you know append method in the string buffer works
Now insert method in the string buffer. The insert method insert the given string with this string at the given position. So whatever positions you will give on that positions, your string will get inserted. So if you uh, look at the example here, we have a package string buffer in Java and then we have a class, we have created a class insert method in a string buffer and then we have a main method. So inside the main method, we are creating the object of again a string buffer, right? And then we are trying to insert the data. So let's say in the same string, if you look at here, when I, uh, sorry, in the same string, if I say sb1 dot insert, if I call the method insert method on the same reference of sb1 and uh, when I say offset, so I'll say you insert at index number 1 and you insert the data is equal to let's say 900. So how this insert will work is at index number 1, so this is t is equal to 0, e is equal to 1. On these positions, on e positions, 900 will get inserted and then when you print the string buffer again, you can see that the actual outcome. So let me run that. See, this is the output. So after t, 900 got inserted, then e is t and then a space 8 at 99, right? So you can see that we can insert the data based on the given positions into a string buffer. So for that, we have a insert method. Similarly, we have a replace method. So replace method name itself says that it replace methods, replace the given string from the specified based on the begin and end index. So let's say you have a class replace method in a string buffer. Then we have a main method. Inside the main method, we are creating the object of a string buffer class and we are writing here Java. Then I say sb dot replace one comma three by test. So how this works is, uh, let me create one more class now. So let's say here I will write a main method m a i n control space bar enter, and then uh, I create the object of a string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer right uh, let me write argument here so i will write here test now uh, once we have this i will do sb dot replace right i will go for this a uh, method it will say start end and the string so i will say start from one till third index so starting from 1 to 3rd, replace with 800, okay. So what happens here is, uh, starting from 1, so E, E, T is 0, E is 1, S is 2 and T is 3. So basically your EST will get replaced by 800 and then when you uh, print that, you will get an actual outcome. So let me run that here. So this is the output it becomes t 800 t so how this works is when we say 1 comma 3 which means 0 1 2 so 1 comma 3 in between 1 comma 3 so starting from 1 to 2 it will get replaced by 800 and uh, i mean 1 comma 3 when we say which means 1 2 till index 2 right it will get replaced now the same thing when I say 1 comma 4 now, so 1 comma 4 means 1, uh, 2, 3. So it will get replaced 1, 1, 2, 3, right? So now you will get T800 outcome. You will get T800. That's how, you know, uh, replace method works. It will replace based on the index. So when you say 1 comma 3, it will do till 1 and 2. It will not do for the third index, right? Now we have a method called delete method. The delete method of a string buffer class deletes the string from a specified begin index to the end index. So when you say delete between this to this, your uh, delete method will delete the data. So again, we have a class delete method and we have a main method. And then we are creating the object of this guy, a string buffer play, 
right so come here and uh, use the same uh, string buffer uh, and change the reference sb1 because we cannot create duplicate reference right here we have already sb so here i cannot keep sb again and when we say sb1 dot delete so we have a delete method so start to end so i say you start from 0 and you do till 3 which means it will do for 0 1 2 and then i print syso control space bar when i say sb1 so what happens your output will be 0 will get deleted 1 will get deleted 2 will get created so your output will be y right so let me run that see here your output is y okay the first t800t is this one this print statement and second you are getting only y because it will delete to 0 t 0 to 2 it will delete okay when we say 0 to 3 it will delete 0 0 index first index and second index it will not delete the third index what does i mean this is the meaning of it it will delete 0 index first index and second index so the third index is a y because index always start from the 0 now similarly we have something called a reverse method name itself says that it will reverse your data so you have a method uh, you have a class reverse method which a uh, name i have given you can give any name and then we have a main method right so inside that we are creating the object of a string buffer java and when we say sb dot reverse so on this reference when i say reverse it will just reverse the string it will become a v a j you can see that a v a j so it will just reverse your string in the opposite way okay that is the you know role of uh, reverse method it will just reverse your given a string buffer data now we will talk about uh, capacity method in a string buffer right so what does mean by uh, capacity and then we have the next topic is called ensure capacity so there are two things we need to discuss one is capacity method and one is ensure capacity method so uh, i will try to cover this into the next video because uh, one video will be very uh, you know long video if you will try to cover so better i will try to cover in the next video thank you guys thank you for watching this